what's up guys and welcome back to the channel so today we're going to continue working on the golf as you seen in the previous video we started it it doesn't idle um, on its own yeah smooth or doesn't idle on its own so we have to fix that I checked the timing after that I checked the timing again on everything everything is fine so what I think is on the fuel injection box um, I think maybe like there's some seals and stuff that's weird out because it has been standing for a long time I googled how to open it and how to replace the seal so for now I'm gonna do that I'm gonna open it split this it's this small black box here I'm gonna take everything off and then I'm gonna uh, like redo that box and uh, yes after that we'll try to start it again and see what it does yeah and I think you are gonna clean some stuff so we can paint it yes those stuff are gonna come black yeah okay so while I'm busy yeah you can do that Okay guys, so I think we might found our problem. Uh, this thing works with like an airflow. If the air uh, opens up, it pushes that pin in and it shoots out petrol. And this thing doesn't go back, so I think it's too dirty and stuck. So that's why I did like, it idle. Uh, it's just like sh shooting a lot of petrol onto the pistons, so and okay. that's why it doesn't want to idle. Okay, cool. So we're gonna so take this out and clean it and put it back and see what it does. There. Okay guys, so I just opened it and made sure that all the rubbers and stuff that's in here that they are not like perished and stuff uh, but everything looks fine so I think we just can just put it back together.
guys say it's the next day. Last night we tried to start the car, well we did start the car but it's still like idling uh, rough and stuff, Mis sounds like it's misfiring. Um, but I think the injectors are maybe dirty or something so later on we'll take it out and just clean it. But for now we just want to put more stuff back together on the engine and get the cooling ready. But I think we're going to start with the um, side shafts first. So yeah let's do that. Okay guys, uh, I think there's too much rust on the that bearings, so I think we're just gonna run to the shop and see what a new one costs, because we tried to clean it, but yeah, it's the rust is really deep, so let's go find out what the new one costs. Okay guys, so we have our new CV joint and um, yeah, we can just finish cleaning the other one, repack it and paint it and we can install the new one. Cool. so the front end of the CV joint is also worn out so we have to go to the shop and buy another one or well the front one um, yeah so let's do that So we got the other CV joint, uh, we cleaned the, the other CV joint as well, the left hand side, the right hand side, we cleaned that one as well. So now we can put everything back together, give it some grease and put it on the car.
guys so the CV boot we got is wrong it's too big on this side so we can't put on this side of the CV now so we're gonna continue with the other one the other one is, is right it's smaller so it's the right size so we're gonna put that one together and put that one in the car yeah because we can't go exchange it the shops is closed already yeah it's closed so already so I think we're just gonna do it off camera yeah. that that one okay yeah we'll just exchange it tomorrow morning and yeah. put that one on so for now let's go on with the other one cool Okay guys, so we're done with that one. We just have to put on the other CV, uh, get a new rubber and put that on and then we can install it on the car. But it is late now, so we'll catch you guys in the morning. Okay guys, so it's the next day. Um, we got the CV boot this morning. I uh, just put it on there and put everything together. So now we can put it on the car. Okay guys, so both of those CVs is in, um, but that's going to be a wrap for this video. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and thanks for all our subscribers and our new subscribers. And all the comments, and even if we don't always answer it, but thank you very yeah, much. Thanks for all the comments and stuff. Um, but yeah, please like and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll see you next time. Cheers!